There's often times on a Jekyll site when you'll want to output a date in a particular format. On this site we have a date in ISO 8601 format. And this format has the full date beginning with the year, a time including the seconds, and then a time zone as well. Um, so we'll output that date in an unordered list. Uh, and we can access it with page.date. So let's have a look at the output. So that gives us the full date, including the time zone here. So let's copy that, create another one, and run it through a filter to clean up the output. So we'll run it through the date to long string filter and have a look at that output. So now that's output the date with the month in writing. We can also use um, another filter called date to RFC 822, which is a particular date format. And now we get the date, including the day of the week uh, and the time zone. Let's try date to string. So that's similar to date to long string, except the month is uh, a short version. And we'll try date to XML schema. So this outputs the date in full ISO 8601 format. So we have one more date filter, and this one gives us complete control of the formatting. So how it works is we pass the date filter, and then we provide a template that we want the date to be in. And how the template works is you have placeholders, which are then replaced by that section of the date. Um, so here we have month slash day slash year. Uh, and there's the month slash day slash year. And we'll try one other one. So here we'll have the day, the month printed out in full text, and the full year. And there's our date there. On the show notes on Jekyll Tips, uh, we have all the placeholders available to you. So you can use these to construct a date in any format you like. So there's one notable exclusion from this list, and that's ordinal date. So for example, we couldn't output uh, 23rd of March. So the ordinal is this RD part, and there's no placeholder for an ordinal. We can get around this using liquid, and I'll just show you a quick example. So first we'll assign the day to a variable. Uh, so page.date. And then we'll run it through a date filter to extract the day. And then we'll do a case statement on the day. And the cases we'll have is when it's 1 or 21 or 31, we'll output the day followed by ST. Uh, when it's 2 or 22, will output the day followed by ND. When it's 3 or 23, we'll output the day followed by RD. And otherwise, we'll output the day followed by TH. And then we'll end the case. And then I'll just finish off the date here. Um, so I'm going to output page.date, run it through a filter. Uh, I'm going to output of the month, comma, the year. Let's have a look at that output. So now we have this 23rd of March 2016. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcanon.com.